So a bait I've used this year that I've never used before is cuttlefish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to prepare a cuttlefish uh, and also how to rig it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my standard winter rig which I use for a cod. Uh, I also use it the same in, in the summer for smooth hound. But it's a panel, pulley panel rig and I've just used that clip to a breakaway lead. So just put that to one side. So we've got a cuttlefish. I get these frozen um, and basically, you know, it's it, it's a bait that I've never used before but it really, really does work. Especially for, for the cod, and especially when there's other fish around that are ripping to shreds, your worm baits, your crab baits. And, and even your squid baits. This this is a lot tougher than squid and it really really is a good winter bait. So first what you need to do is make sure you've actually got something to wipe your hands because it is a very very dirty bait. So we're one of the worst baits I've used for getting black ink all over the place. So what first thing I normally do is is just pull the insides out so they've got a nice cuttlefish head there and just take a pair of scissors just cut a nice flap. So now I've got full cuttlefish, and I just take the little cuttlefish bone out and the little ink sack, just throw it away, throw that in, in the water, and just a little bit extra ground bait. So now you can see you've got a nice big bit of cuttlefish. Some people take the skin off it, I don't bother, I think it just adds, adds a bit more scent to the, into the water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a peel of crab and cuttlefish cocktail. And what the cuttlefish do will actually protect the peel of crab from all the small fish being bitten. But you know the scent of that peel of crab will still get into the water. So, as per usual with any peel of crab, take the claws and legs off, the bottom shell off. It's easier to take the bottom shell off if you've still got the back shell on. Just crunch it up. So you get your finger underneath and then just pull that shell off. And as I always do with peeler crab, I cut it in half so it goes on the hook better. So I've got my, my peeler crab prepared now and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a bit of cuttlefish. So what I'm going to do, to get a nice long section, I'm going to cut across the cuttlefish and just take a strip nice long strip and just nick that through the first hook so I'm using Sukuma uh, Sukuma 4 and a Kamazan 4 on the top hook there's no reason why I've chosen one over the other just that's what I had so as normal with peeler crab in through one leg hole twist it and then come out through the top leg hole if you can I'm going to use a full peeler crab on this one today in and twist. Okay, so now I've got that all in there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my cuttlefish down and I'm actually going to just nick that bit of cuttlefish through through the hook there and then I'm going to get my bait elastic. Good tip with bait elastic, make sure you get it in a little bait dispenser and then you don't get all your bait juices all over your bait elastic and lock it all up. Nice and tight bound on, on your onto your hook. So make sure that your hook point doesn't get covered. Wind it all the way up to the top of your cuttlefish. Just pull to snap the bait elastic. And with your other, with your top, your top panel hook, two turns just to lock the hook off and nick it in to the top of your cuttlefish there. 
So there we go, we've got a lovely peeler crab and cuttlefish bait, nice and streamlined. And I know for a fact that cuttlefish really, really works. It's caught me some of my bigger cod this year.